Here's a good problem to have. It's getting a little crowded at your Sunday service, and you need to think about adding a second or third service. What do you do? A carbon copy or something a little different? Here's how First Unitarian in Albuquerque, New Mexico, decided to move ahead. Our um, hope when we started the service was to have a third service that was distinctly different and would draw a little bit different crowd. We put together a survey and by far the largest uh, percentage of them said that they would like to see a contemporary service. The contemporary service to me is the music, the people, the um, community. In a contemporary worship service, it's the band leader who is the leader of the service, and traditionally the preacher only preaches. And since we were going to three services, and I was worried about how much energy I would have for three services, that seemed very attractive. Plus, we already had a church band that the church loved, and um, giving that band a chance to play every week seemed like it would be a big draw. When I put together a service, I look not only for music that will be energetic, I also look for music that encourages a sense of community. To pitch in, work together, give each other a helping hand with uh, both in terms of the lyrics and also in terms of the encouragement to stand up and clap, sing along, dance in the aisles. If I had one word to describe this service, it would be excitement. I mean, it's like a, a spiritual excitement. I really enjoy the sense of togetherness that I get when I'm singing. We also find that if we project the lyrics on a projection screen, then we don't have people with their faces in a book. We have people looking up and singing enthusiastically. So we, we think the technological uh, change there is something that's made a, a difference in the atmosphere of the worship. When we're group singing, singing along, and I look over at Andrea and she's just going to, just having a grand old time <laughs> singing along. And it's, she doesn't sing enough, but when she gets to sing, it's wonderful. Amongst the things that have surprised us is the, um, is the diversity in the congregation. I think we can attract a lot of young people. I, I mean, you know, I'm old and I love it. It's also turned out to be a more racially and ethnically diverse service than um, our first two services by a noticeable uh, measure. And I'm not sure what to attribute that to, but we like it. I think we had a slight advantage in that we're in a a modern building. We have a grand piano which can be moved around on the platform. If we were in a traditional building, say with a pipe organ, I still think we could do this because we found that people have been very, very willing to embrace uh, a more modern and less formal style. It's amazing what Unitarian Universalists can do when they're asked. I think that one of the things that has happened that I also didn't anticipate is that a church that has a contemporary music service is a different entity than one who doesn't, even for those who never come. Most people in, in our membership come to the service that they've always come to. They worship in the morning, that's their lifelong habit. They like the traditional music, but their church has a contemporary music service and they like that very much. And I think it, it sets a tone for the church going into the future that's important. I think it's an important project and it's fun to have a, a, a completely new way to think about worship and preaching after all these years. We are praying.